Okay, testing, testing, one, two. So guys, gonna start uh, the Cubase module um, in a series of 10 minute videos. I believe I can get that done and get you guys up to speed. For those of you who don't know how to use Cubase and wanna make some drum and bass, old school style jungle um, and jump up and all that kind of good stuff. Um, my name is Busy B Science. For those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm one of the pioneers of jungle drum and bass hardcore back in the day when it crossed over to breakbeat. So, um, with uh, enough about credentials, I uh, just want to get into uh, teaching you guys uh, the basics of Cubase, um, how to get started, how to get everything up and running. So, you've got your Cubase. I'm assuming you understand how to install it and all that as well. Um, the first thing you need to do um, is make sure that your sound card is connected um, and make sure that's all up and running. Now, I am using an RME um, UCX and uh, you would you would basically go into your studio setup and make sure uh, your audio interface is is selected. Um, let's see what we got here. So. You've got to go into your audio system. You see the VST audio system. Make sure your, your, your sound card is installed correctly. Make sure you install the drivers. Um, the manufacturer should be able to show you how to do that. Uh, you should be able to uh, see a YouTube video, perhaps how to do it. Um, but just for example, you just double click on your CDs and I'm assuming that you know how to do that. But if you ever get any problems with setting up your sound card and stuff, just drop us an email using the link below and uh, holler at your boy and I'll, I'll help you get that sorted. But it's assuming that you know how to do that. You go to here and you make sure that your Fireface, you know, your, I've got my Fireface UCX. It will say switch to ASIO driver. You click on that. Um, and you just literally make that set up. Obviously, assuming your computer power is up to speed, nowadays most decent computers uh, can run Cubase um, and all of the latest DAOs. So once you've done that now, uh, you probably want to go into, you want to go into the audio, uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's see on here now, it's so long since I've set this up. All right, okay, so bear with me. So you want to go into your VST, there you go, VST uh, audio performance, where is it, shit, audio connections. You go into your audio connections and then you make sure that you have uh, your analog outputs, say for example, one and two, which is your left and right, and that's assigned to your UCX. You can see you've got your sound card set there. If the buses don't show up here, you can add buses here and you can literally call them left or right or make a mono mono left and right. But by st as standard, most of this should already be set up. Yeah. Again, if you get problems setting this up, let us know. I'll see what I could do to get you guys up and running. But based on mine, these are the settings that work with mine. Fireface UCX, yeah, running Cubase. Okay, so once you've got that all set up now, um, Cubase is let's go let's go from a, a fresh screen here now. So I'm gonna just, just do it as you're setting up brand spanking new. So you go you'll you'll be you'll be faced with this screen here. You, you literally just go to new project, right? And then you want to just go create empty, right? There are some projects you can mess about with uh, templates, but for now we're just gonna go create empty now before you do that let me just show you another little uh section how you do it you go once again you go create new project right yeah and then it will say use the default location now what i recommend doing at this stage here now mm -hmm. is i would there is a folder called cubase projects right but if you don't want to use put all your cubase projects on your hard drive i would recommend um putting it on to your project hard drive because i've literally got a an external hard drive which I use to put my Cubase projects and the reason why uh, I would do something like that is because um, when I'm when I, uh, when I'm using a lot of uh, a lot of the stuff in Cubase without getting sort of too ahead of myself with all the terminology here when you're using all the stuff in the pro in the Cubase project the, the files for the songs and stuff that you create depending on what you're using like audio etc can get quite large so I tend to create a folder and then let, let's say, for example, tutorial jungle project, right? Okay, so we pop that in there. 
and then literally that is the first part that's there now set so every track that you do or or this particular project let's say for example is going to be on the external hard drive my external sound library hard drive under the tutorial project um, jungle project right in there and you could set n numerous folders unlimited how you want okay so let's get started so we've done that we set the sound card up that's all working we've got this screen here the next thing we want to do is um if you want to play instruments this rack here is for instruments now um your cubase does have um some standard plugins um that come with it i.e a uh, groove agent let's say for example yeah you've got groove agent groove agent is a drum machine and you would just set that up like that. Okay, so tell me something about license. This is a problem that I've had with Cubase for a while. When you update, your Groove Agents goes to crap. So I'm assuming um, Groove Agent SE would be the one to go for, right? So we click on that, and that's the one that comes box standard with um, the Cubase. So I'm going to try and keep everything as box standard as possible because assuming that... Oh, now it's lost the library. Look at this, man. God damn. Cubase, I'm trying to help people to get your 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 stuff here and <laughs> and it's giving grief right so it doesn't have any libraries in it so that's your drum kit for uh, or your vst instruments yeah so obviously with vst instruments they are there are instruments that you install onto your computer and it just expands your library um a lot of uh these softwares come with standard instruments but um if you go hunting you go on uh, websites like plugin Bu boutique etc you're going to find lots of different simps and what they do and it's really you know assuming that you get into that and then you install those but for the purpose of this demonstration i am not going to use a uh, groove agent for drums etc uh, i'm going to use autoria's uh, emulator to start with so this is an external plugin that i've literally bought um and when you when you when you just literally click on it you saw what i just done there so just to, just to clarify um i clicked on this here and, and, and this tab here and then i just typed for the plugin that I was looking for and as you can see it shows you a list of all the plugins that you've got available right so you then you would then um select the plugin that you want to use the plugin would show up and it would be ready to go now um also i forgot to mention guys before we move on to that we need to also discuss more setup options and we need to discuss setting up your keyboard uh your midi keyboard has to be installed i use a uh um a, a, a contacts um, it's called a bloody I forgot the name of the keyboard. <laughs> I use an external MIDI key, keyboard controller, and I make sure it's you all the USBs all connected, yeah. And then I believe when you go into your uh, let's see VST Studio setup again, you go to MIDI, and look, you just click on your MIDI port, and uh, it shows up here that my MIDI port in is. Is, is my co uh, complete control. So I've got a complete control 49 keyboard. And as you can see, that's all configured there and working nice, right? So I've got that set up. So that's the first, first part of this module. Make sure that you have everything set up correctly. This is the initial setup. You set the folder to get started. You set your MIDI up and you set your sound card sound card up make sure that your sound card stroke audio interface yeah make sure that is connected properly uh to your speakers and they're all wired up properly um i'm gonna do a, a studio wiring tutorial out there at some point to show you how to wire your audio interface in the next uh module we're going to discuss uh audio interface wiring so that's it for this um, this uh, module. Um, I hope you enjoyed it so far. Initial setups. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, comment down below or drop us an email to thebusybeescience at gmail.com. Thank you very much.